Extended Forms has added a new proctoring feature that basically supervises your exams and provides a trust score based on the events that take place during the exam. So without wasting any time, let's explore this new feature. We are going to be using this quiz for our example, and I'll start by installing the Extended Forms add-on. So I'll click on this Options icon, and I'll click on Add-ons at the bottom. Now we can go ahead and search for Extended Forms. So I'll just type in Extended, and I'll click on the first result. It's the first item on this page. Let's click on Install. Continue. Select a Google account. Scroll and click on Allow. And now we are done. Let's close this modal. And I'll click on this puzzle icon to enable extended forms. Click on Configure. Just wait for it to load. Turn it on by toggling the switch. And now the add-on is ready. So the first thing we can do is select a sharing method. Let's use the default one and let's change the time limit to about four minutes. We can also keep restrict attempts set to one time. Let's leave auto submit on and click on save. All right, so now we can close this notice and let's click on responses. So now we are in the extended forms dashboard and we're logged in. We have our form settings over here. This can also be accessed by clicking on forms on the left. Here's the quiz. And we're back on the same screen. Now let's turn on the proctor feature by clicking on this options icon. Then we'll go to form settings. Then proctor at the top. We have three different options. I'll turn on full screen first. This enables full screen mode in the browser when taking the quiz. So we can keep this on. And the next option is tab switch. And this basically detects when a user switches tabs while taking the exam. And then we have camera snapshot, which takes random pictures of the user while the exam is running. So now we can click on update. And now we can click on OK. Let's go ahead and test out the proctor settings. So I'll click on this share icon at the top. And I'll copy the link. Now let's paste it in Safari. So I'll just go to Safari and paste it in the address bar. And now I'll log into my Google account off screen. Get started. We see that Proctor is active, so I'll click on Next. And we can just go through each of these prompts. Now let's enable the camera. I'll click on Allow. We need to exit full screen mode. Get started. And allow one more time. So once we click anywhere, we'll enter full screen mode. I'll start providing random answers to these questions. But I'll also go ahead and switch tabs to search for the answer to one of the questions. So basically, I'm going to cheat on this exam. Let's see how many days are there in a leap year. It's 366, but we're just pretending that we don't know. So we have the answer now. Let's go back. And this is considered switching tabs again. Let's change the answer from 266 to 366. Let's provide one more random answer. And I'll click on Submit. Let's not view the score, so let's press escape to exit full screen. Now we need to go back to Google Chrome, so I'll just click on Chrome here, and I'll refresh this page to see the responses. All right, let's click on report. So for this exam, we have a trust score of 85%, which is based on the events that took place during the quiz. All of the events have timestamps, so you'll always know when they happen. All right, so now it's your turn to go ahead and test out this Proctor feature yourself. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.